Sadly, in our country, most of the parents and the students, after their 10 plus 2, we call it, or we call it as PUC, that is pre-university college. After this, most of the parents or students think that there's only two opportunities. Either you go in engineering or you go in medical line. But the truth is, there is much more than all of this. So today in this video, we're going to talk about career opportunities, where if you opted for a biology degree, a biology uh, which is physics, biology plus chemistry, PCB, then what are the career opportunities you have got? That we will talk today. So as you can see, you have done physics, chemistry and biology, then obviously it is not just the biology part where you can go forward. You can always go forward in the physics part and as well as the chemistry part also. It's not something which is mandatory. But we will talk about majorly biology and chemistry part today. Now, let us start with most of the parents and students think that this is the only career and this is the only rewarding career which you have. But the truth is, no. You can have a stable, better career than MBBS in other fields also, right? I am pursuing it right now. I have seen so many people doing, doing it. So there is a better career than MBBS, which you can do if you are not able to qualify the NEET exam or any such entrance exam across the world. Now, so don't make it a point that no, no, at any cost, I should qualify a NEET exam. If you are not able to qualify NEET exam, it's all right. There are multiple alternative careers which you have to pursue. So before I go to the next step, I'm going to draw a Venn diagram, which will make things easy for you. This is the Venn diagram. Okay. Now, the first is economy. Okay. Economy or industry, whatever you call it. What the economy or the industry is demanding. Next will be what you love. Of course, your love is biology or chemistry or something in that, right? And then what will keep giving you money throughout your life because obviously you need money to survive in your future career right future life so what will be the demand of the industry and the economy today will it keep giving me money tomorrow and do i love it because if we don't love it then it become we become robots okay and then we also have to look at the stability aspect so it is going to be stable or not correct that you have to know now at an early stage of your life you have to know that there can be four things which you can pursue, okay? You can either be a professional, okay? Or you can be self-employed. So basically a doctor is a self-employed. Or you can be an entrepreneur, like I'm an entrepreneur. Or you can be an investor. So basically the entire economy is divided into these four segments. So it is not that... Only doctor who is self-employed is the only career. There are multiple other careers also, which we'll be talking about now, okay? Now, let me erase this for you. So now we'll come to the chemistry and biology careers. Now, first things first, we have to know which is the biology or biochemistry or chemistry career, which will be trending in the future. The first thing which comes into my mind is obviously biotech. Biotech industry globally currently is at 1.5 trillion dollars. So this is only the biotech industry. If I add pharmaceutical industry, then this number will be this, 15 trillion dollars. So you can imagine how big this industry is, right? Now that is biotech. The next thing under biology, which will definitely love, you will love is bio IT. Okay. Now what is bio IT? you have a fusion of biotechnology with the IT industry. So you already know how big the IT industry is. But what if we add the IT industry, the, the tools of IT industry into biotech? So for example, suppose I know that my parents had diabetes. So I am bound to have diabetes. But if I have the entire data of my entire line, lineage, I can easily apply artificial intelligence Algorithm to find out at what age my diabetes can be expressed if my BMI is this, okay? So imagine if I can predict the disease in my body at what age I can, I'm about to get and delay it, right? So that is where bio-IT comes into picture, which we popularly call as bio 
informatics. Now, this is a very exciting field. Another aspect of this which you can learn is coding for biology. So, you are still in your uh, plus two or after passing out, you can learn all of this and then you can apply into colleges. You will definitely get accepted whether it is India or US or Europe, anywhere. Then under bioinformatics, you can also learn artificial intelligence and machine learning. So this is the new thing which is coming up. Now what it does is it will accelerate the biotechnology research, right? Just like suppose you want to go to airport, you can go by walk also or go by auto rickshaw, but it will be slow. But if you take a car, it will be fast, right? Or you, if you take a train, it will take 40, 48 hours to reach from one part of India to other. But what if you take a plane, you can reach in a few hours. So that is what bio IT is all about. Now, this is an upcoming field, a very rewarding field, and you have the training for bioinformatics, coding for biologists, and AIML for plus two students available in Biotechnica. You can always take that. And then you can apply bio IT. You can enroll into MSc Bioinformatics, BSc Bioinformatics, BTech Bioinformatics, and then you can go for research, right? Next. Obviously, you must have heard of the old word pharmacy. Pharmacy is one alternative route, but pharmacists also need to learn all of this. But pharmacy is a different type, a different flavor. You can get jobs into the pharmaceutical industry. Like I said, this is a biotech industry. So for example, Biocon is a biotechnology company while Cadilla, Cipla, these are bio pharmaceutical company. So that is where you can get a job in pharmaceutical company if you do pharmacy. Now apart from that, we also have multiple other things which we have such as Forensic science, so you can get work into various forensic science labs across the country and the globe, and then you can, uh, you know, detect crimes. If you want to be a Sherlock Holmes, definitely you can do that. Now, apart from this, under biotechnology itself, you have multiple other fields which you can pursue, which is biochemistry. Then you have microbiology. Okay, these are the things. Then you can also go for pure sciences such as botany zoology but i will not advise you to go for botany zoology unless your aim is to get into upsc because it doesn't help you there now next thing which i can suggest you you also have various other uh, degrees such as agriculture so agriculture is always in demand will always be there in demand so agriculture also is one good field where you can go but if you ask me out of all these fields if you are not getting to mbbs which will be the second best, or I would say MBBS was never the first best, but yeah, out of all this, which is the best, I would say bio IT is the field which is the best. Another field which comes in my mind, which always parents ask me is biomedical. Biomedical is also a good field, a upcoming field. Biomedical devices are there nowadays, so you can see there you have various companies getting in, but biomedical will not be an employment generator. Bio IT will be an employment generator. Easily getting high paying jobs in bio IT will be easy in the future. Biotech again is a very specialized job, so you will get you have to do PhD to get a very high paying, good quality jobs. The same with biochemistry, microbiology also. Pharmacy also, after bachelor's, you can get a job, but if you want to grow, you need a master's or PhD. But in bio IT, with a regular BTEC, also in bioinformatics, you can get high paying jobs. So this is the matrix which I wanted to share with all of you. Now, if you have any questions or comments, you can always reach out to me at shaker at biotechnica.org. You can book a one to one career guidance session where your parents and me and you can sit together and we can discuss how exactly you can choose which particular field. But remember what I told you. Out of all these fields, you have, to, you have to choose that field which you love. Because if you're not enjoying working there, then you'll become a robot, okay? So as a plus two student who could not qualify NEET, don't feel demotivated. NEET is not the end of the you know, life. NEET is just one direction. These are multiple direction. And I would say because I have you, you know, walked into the bio IT direction. Today, Biotechnica is doing so much bio IT research. We are into biotech. I would say these are more rewarding, more comfortable jobs than being a medical doctor because medical doctor is a very responsible job. It's a very self-sacrificing job and uh, it is not easy to be, be a doctor, to be very frank. Just getting a degree is not easy and it's not that you get a lot of money. Doctors really have to work so hard day in, day out 
to treat patients, right? So uh, I'm not criticizing doctors. They are great people. But if in case you are not able to get in, there are some multiple other fields which you can get in. You can make medicine. You can do research on newer medicine. You can find cure for cancer, dengue, malaria, or various other diseases like COVID vaccine or something like that. And bio-IT is the easier way to get into the biotech industry. So this is what I had to share with you. So if you have any questions, comments or feedback, drop them down in the comment section or you can reach out to me at shekharat biotechnica.org. Keep shining, take care, bye-bye.